So it says figure two in the appendix B. In appendix B shows view uh, shows views of an oblique T piece through the interpenetration curve according to a scale one is to one. And in first angle orthographic projection, leave the constructional lines on marks allocation are as follows. So correctness 10 marks, neatness 10 marks, line work 15 marks. So is paying uh, 35 marks. So using a scale of what of one is to one. So which is figure two, which is this one. So the very first thing that we have to do, we are going to draw the given view. So let's draw the given view. So I am going to start with this center line. So this center line, uh, this center line, I will say is the horizontal center line of my what? Of my top view. Because this is the top, this is the front, isn't it? Even the question the set is given in first angle orthographic projection, and we have the first angle orthographic projection symbol as well. So now I'll draw the what the auxiliary of my front view, which is diameter 30. So take my drawing compass 30 divided by 2, we are getting 15, isn't it? Open it to 15 millimeter, which is this one, 15 millimeter. Then I can draw the auxiliary view right here, like this. After I've drawn my auxiliary view, let me draw the vertical line. Okay, so this one hmm, is this, is this auxiliary view. So now, let me measure 20 millimeter, just to separate the front view with my auxiliary view. You understand? The front view with the auxiliary view. So that I will get a dimension that is uh, above 20 millimeter. <coughs> so now we are told to go to from here, from here till there is 40 millimeter, isn't it? So this 40 millimeter is actually from the center, not right there. You understand? So if I have that 40, let me, if I have this 20 somewhere there, what can I, where my 20 ends, I can be able to start uh, to begin to record it at 40 millimeter. So 40 millimeter till right there so this 40 millimeter is giving us what is giving us the the vertical center line going up towards your front view understand so now i can i can uh, draw that that vertical center line even even before i can uh, draw that vertical center line uh, let me see the shape. The shape of the top view is what? It's a, a, a diagonal square. The diagonal square. And this diagonal square, we, this angle of it, we are going to use 45 degrees. So let me do like this now. Before this one, let me do this one. So if from here till is 20 millimeter from there till there is 40. 40. Let me draw this one. Okay. Mm, yeah, it's okay. I'll first draw it faint. Then from there. Here we go. 
so the properties of a square all the sides they must be equal isn't it so if the size they are equal uh, all this if the size they are equal i can if the set from here till the state which means from here till the state so i can simply do this there is my 30 millimeter and i can even throw it dark so same applies to this side supposed to be 30. is my 30 i can even draw it dark and from there this one it will automatically be 30 and this one automatically be 30 as well from here to right there so i i am i am already having the what now the the diagonal square top view which is this one this one so from there what i can now project this one up which is the vertical which is the vertical center line so now from here till there i'll record the 20 millimeter to separate which is orthographic projection separate of use it's 20 millimeter this one i can erase it i don't need it anymore then from there i'll have to draw this one faint and now i'll take this point up Faint as well, up, faint as well. So now without fear or favor, this bottom part of, of my front view is solid. Which one is this one? Is this from here till the Because we projected this one up, isn't it? This one as well. So from here, from here till there is already there from there till there okay so we are told Uguti, there is an angle of this angle is 56 degrees so and to get to that point they said 10 millimeter so from here to the point where we are going to open this angle we are going to record 10 millimeter so there is my 10 ending so that's my 10 millimeter. So now this is out of special angle because it's a 56 millimeter. I mean 56 degrees. So it's out of our special angle. So I can simply use a protractor. Where is my protractor? Okay, then from there, we simply put it like this. Here's my zero point, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's get this an angle 50 and 56 this is 50 this is 55 this is 56 this is angle 56 
then after that I can have this it's going to be a center line which is which one is this one this one from here to going up so it's at an angle of 56 so now I can consider the height of my front view from there till there the set is 60 millimeter this is there is my 60 now then from there I can have it dark here yeah. and dark from here till there. Right. So now let me see the the what to call the height. So the height of the branch pipe from there till there. Okay, the set is foot. So this 40 now, I can record it now from here, going this side, even if I can still record it on my top view, it's still on the same thing. Let me just get an exact point. So 40 is the one that I wanted to start with. So from here till there is 40, I'll project it till at way at this point of my front view you understand this one so it's the one that I wanted to start with just zoom it out a little bit so which is this one I'll draw it as a center draw it as a center you understand then then after that so I would have to get an auxiliary view of my front view uh, somewhere there of the very same dummy uh, a diameter so it's diameter 30 so simply open it to 15 this is 15 so I want to draw it here so the auxiliary there you go there you go so where was I placing my drone compass somewhere here, isn't it? So that's the auxiliary of my friend view. Just extend this one just a little bit. Hmm. So now, that's the other set screen. the perpendicular center line that will be against this one so this is at an angle of 58 isn't it so I want a center line that is going to be perpendicular against it then like this we can have it then let me repeat that how did I did it simple record like this isn't it now flash this on just a little bit down then like this I can have it now okay now throw it okay. so I've gotten it so this center is actually perpendicular against this one. And the center. So the set is at angle 56. Okay, so after this one, what we are going to do now, we are going to get this one. This and that how. Use your, your set square as well. Firstly come to record upside down firstly record the this the the correctness of our right from your center line 
now I, I hold this one I just flush this one just a little bit then I'll draw this one faint for now come just a little bit down without it your T square come down why because this is, is actually out of the special angle so that is why you use your two set squares right then from there they told you good from here till there is what uh, it's a uh, 40 millimeter so you have to get to this line okay that would be a perpendicular against this center line that is at an angle of 58 I mean 56 degrees you understand so to, to draw this line perpendicular against this one you are going to use the very same method again without your t-square right from your horizontal center line so flush it just a little bit down till where your 40 ends which my 40 is ending right here you understand so now i can have it that now from here till there from here till there without fear or favor again from here till there without fear or favor and have it dark again from here to there, from here to there. Right, so it looks like we are done with our what? Given view, front view, given view. We are done with it, but then the top view is not yet done. So what we're gonna do, we are going to project this point horizontally. So there you go. Once I touch the main pipe, I can stop. Even on the bottom part of it. There you go. Once I touch the main pipe, I can stop there. So from there, we are going to project this one vertically down, this one vertically down, right from your front view. So there you go, faint. They go faint, vertically down. You understand? So now, as such, that now from here, from here till at your center, I can have it solid without fear or favor. I can have it solid, which is this one from there to there. You understand? So, even the bottom part of it. My aim is to finish up the given view. There it is still at the vertical center. Which one is that one? This one from there till there. Hey one. So now we have to get this sort of like an ellipse. And we can use the the, the four center method since we have the 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 minor distance and the minor distance because to draw an ellipse you only need two distances isn't it which is the minor and a mirror distance you understand but then in this case we are not told uh, we have to use the four center method or what so now my second step that i will do i'll divide my auxiliary views my auxiliary views into what into equal into 12 equal spaces so I'll start with the auxiliary view of my front view. Take my drawing compass. Come and place it at this point further. Extend it to the center. Mm -hmm. Then I strike an arc here. Strike an arc here. Come to this point. To the center. Strike an arc here. Like an arc here, come to this one. You know this method most. It's like an arc there. The last one. Here you go. There you go. Like this, I can go. So, if I've already have this, I can decide to say I have a zero here and the one here. This point two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, back to zero. You understand? So now, what is going to happen? Point five, I can intersect it with eleven. Faint now. Then point uh, two with point eight. Faint. Then point seven with point one. So there you go. Faint. Then point four with point ten. There you go. Faint. All together. Then after that, what I did uh, here, I will simply do it down here. So we've got two methods. Since this one, I can use the other method of what? Of, of a set squares. So remember, on this one, I used what a, a, a what to call a drawing compass. So on this one, let me use my set square. So I'll firstly put the 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 set square that is a, a the the let me position it. Yeah, it's nice. Mm. This is my T square against my drawing table. Then I I take the dated 60 degrees anti-clockwise and clockwise and now this is angle 30 degrees in a clockwise direction. Push it up until at the what at the center of your cycle. Understand? So there you go. Faint, isn't it? Now just flush it, flush it to angle 60 degrees anti-clockwise. Now I have the second one. Understand? Then after having this one, now put angle 60 degrees anti-clockwise. There you go. After like this, put angle 30 degrees anti-clockwise. So like this we go. So you can select which one is uh, simple for you. So what we did here is still the same as what we did up there all together. So now in this case, I'll decide to have my zero here. Actually, it's not about deciding. Uh, you can decide on the first auxiliary. So I decided to put a zero here. So on on the second, uh, what to call a uh, auxiliary, it won't be about uh, the way you 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 decide because the 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 zero of your auxiliary of your front view must intersect with the zero of your auxiliary of your 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 top view and give you a point. The one of auxiliary front with the one of auxiliary top they must intersect uh, intersect and give you a what a point you understand so my aim is remember the question said get the line of penetration but then my concern is to what is to complete the front view first just to get this shape first before we get the what the line of penetration after the line of penetration we develop the 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 uh, the pipe and we show the shape of the hole in the main pipe so our aim is to firstly complete the what the top view the shape you understand so now if i have a zero here there by my what my auxiliary front if my zero is here so this zero will go there it goes once it touch here it's gonna go vertically down isn't it it's going vertically down so i want to this zero of my auxiliary front to intersect with the zero of my what of my auxiliary uh, top so if i put a zero here yes indeed they are intersecting you understand so so my zero it will be here and the one this one two three four you see our numbering of the auxiliary uh, top view is now going anti-clockwise you understand if you you check the numbering of your auxiliary uh, front view it was going clockwise so the numbering of auxiliary uh, top view it will go anti for five here yeah, six 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, back to zero. You understand? So now I'm going to project these number points of auxiliary top. Once they touch the main pipe, I'll stop there. So a point four and two in the horizontal line, I stop here. Let me look for a crash pencil. Since this one is broken. Mm -hmm. So, which means this, this one is a point three. This is point three. So, this is point four. And it's in the same line with what? With two. You understand? So, now, point uh, five in the same line with what? With point one. So, this is five in the same line with what? With point one. Point one. So zero in line with what? With point six. So this is six in line with what? With zero. I understand. So even on the bottom part, it should be still running the same thing. There you go. There you go. So this is seven. In line with 11 so so this is going to be 8 in line with 10 then 9 on its own thereby my what my my uh, my top view main pipe and it's in the shape of a diagonal square so now what is going to happen now go back to your auxiliary front view this one so I am going to project this what I did here ne? I'll be doing it right from the auxiliary of my top view I mean of my friend view so point line 11 in line with one point point 10 in line with what with point two you see it just extended them was you still going to need them when you are getting your what your line of your penetration you still going to need it when you are getting your line of your penetration understand so point three in line with point nine then point eight in line with what with point four point seven in line with what with point five there you go you understand so I have a zero here and one, two, two right here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You 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 understand. So from there what is going to happen now what is going to happen now so like as we've traced check point zero eh? it's this one that goes that goes that goes. once it touch here it's gonna go vertically down we've already constructed it must intersect with what with the zero of this one we have a point it's already there right then point one right from the auxiliary of your what of your front view that goes that goes once it touch here Construct it vertically down. Which is this one. There it goes. Faint, eh? So after we've took it down, point one must intersect with what? With point one of my auxiliary. Auxiliary top view. So there is the point one. So I have what? A point right there. You understand then point uh, point two go back to your front view again this is point two so take this point vertically down which is the point two mm, this drawing sheet of mine is old mm -hmm. but our force mm -hmm. this is point two 
I hope you can see. So the, the line two must intersect with what? The line two that is vertical, right? Uh, coming uh, from from auxiliary of your of your front view must intersect with what with the line two auxiliary of your top view. So this is two, eh? So there I have a point. You understand? So three, there it is. Intersecting with what with the three of my auxiliary front view which is the center there you go there you go so indeed i have a what a point right here <coughs> okay sorry about that so after we've gotten point three so which means now we can get point what point four so point four in terms of auxiliary if a top is in the same line with what would the, the line of two as much as you can see it right there isn't it so where is your four of your auxiliary a uh, auxiliary front is in the same line with it there it is so this is the point we're supposed to take it vertical vertical now so there you go there you go so this is the point four must intersect with what with the point four and the four is in the same line with what with the two so i have a point this is three this is a uh, two this is one this is zero so let's get point five point five in the same line with what with with a uh, 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 with point one which is this one how about the auxiliary from your uh, what you call auxiliary front view there it is there it is once it touches there this is the point supposed to be constructed down which is this one so down we go faint huh? so must intersect with what with the point five auxiliary which is this one there you go so six which is in the same line with zero eh? so Check it right from this is six. There it goes. There it goes. Once it touch there, gonna go vertically down. So I have what a point right there. You understand? <coughs> then point seven, which is this one. So go back to auxiliary front view seven is in the same line with five, which means is the second line. Which there it go. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Seven. So, which means I have what? A point right there. Then 8. Go back to what? To auxiliary front view. This is 8. There you go. There you go. I, I, we even wrote it down there, isn't it? Once it touch there, there you go. There you go. There you go. Must intersect with what? With the 8 from the auxiliary of your top view. So, point 9. Point 9 which is in the same line with what with the point three nine is that one there it goes once it touch here let's go it's gonna go vertically gonna come and intersect with what with this one so i have a what point there you understand so point 10 this is the line of 10 eh? trace it right from the auxiliary of your what of your of your front view there it goes there it goes it's in the same line with what with point two, eh? so there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. So I, I have point right there where they are intersecting each other. So point 11, this is the line of 11, right? It's intersect with what? With the, the 11 right from the auxiliary front view. There it goes. Once it gets to there, gonna go vertically down. So that's the last point. So that's how you you go about them so now i can use my free hand or use your your flex curve to join your point to join your point so this point they must be plotted they must be visible like these ones of mine so that's how you go about it you understand so we've completed drawing the given views you understand so 
we've completed to draw the given view so now let's get to what the line of penetration you understand so i said to you further extend them yeah so that you understand what is going to happen now so when we are getting the line of penetration so the points or the constructional line points right from the auxiliary front you just project them straight like the way it is I've, I've 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 projected them i didn't just stop here you understand project them so what is going to happen now is that these ones of auxiliary top once they touch the main pipe they're gonna go up once they touch the main pipe they must go up once so let's start with a zillow so this is the zillow, uh, the zillow of our auxiliary what you call a uh, auxiliary front this is the zillow eh? that goes that goes that goes it's not changing direction isn't it it's not changing direction so trace the zillow of auxiliary top this is it so the law it says once it touch the main pipe because this is the branch this is the main pipe this is the top view of the main pipe isn't it so once it touch this main pipe it must go up so it's already there there it is there it is so which means i have what a point right there where they're intersecting is my point so we are now getting the line of penetration there by our front view eh? so let's go to point one Point one auxiliary, it just goes straight, isn't it? There it is. So point one of my auxiliary top view. There it is. Once it touch the main pipe, supposed to go up. Take it up. So faint. There you go. So there you go. So must intersect with what? With one of auxiliary. A auxiliary front so i have what a point there you 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 understand so now the the second point which is point is i can say this is my zero this is point one so let's get point two so there it is there it is isn't it so the two of the auxiliary from the top view there it is once it touch the main pipe it's gonna go up so there you go so I must intersect with what with this one so i have what a point right there which i can give it a name as two because it's the two a, a combination of auxiliary uh, two point and auxiliary two point of my front two point of my top so when they are colliding each other they just give me my point so oh, the three trace it right from auxiliary top there it goes once it touch there gonna go up must intersect with what with the point three of auxiliary front view which is the center there it is isn't it once it gets here project it up faint mm -hmm. you see that i don't stop here i i'm actually considering the the bottom part points both they're in the same line you understand so now i can which is my center isn't it there you go uh -huh. so point four in the same line with what with two there it goes there it goes which means it's this one there it goes in the same line with point two this is point two eh? point four right from the auxiliary front there it goes there it goes which means i have what A point there which this is three this is four right then point five there it is in the same line with one once it gets here gonna go up point five point five which is this one there it is there it is where they are colliding each other i have what a point that's point five you 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 understand so point six which is in the same line with zero trace it right from the auxiliary of your art of your 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 top view six in the same line with zero eh? and again right from the auxiliary of my top uh, view there it goes once it touch the main pipe you're gonna go up up so this is my six isn't it trace it 
There you go, there you go, there you go. So which means I have what? A point here, which is point six. So we are done uh, by plotting the point of interpenetration. So now I can take my flex curve and join them. If I don't have like Fandag, I can simply use my what? My free hand. There you go. There you go. There you go. So that's how you get the line of penetration. So if you have gotten your line of penetration like that, like this, you can then simply get your the, what, the development. Let's say here it was marked A and say develop a pipe, a, a the branch. So the main pipe, again, if this, uh, the shape of the main pipe is like this, which means again from here till there has to be solid. Without fear or favor, I am going to have this one solid. You, you, you understand? So now for, for me to get the development now, so I'll, I am going to express my development this side, coming this side. So I can just erase these ones. They don't help me anymore now, these ones. Eh? Right, so now I, I want to develop the, the branch. Uh, let me put it like this. I hope you can see it clearly now. So now what I can, since the angle, it was out of special angle. So I'll continue using my what, my, my set squares, you understand? Because it was out of special angle, the set angle 56. So I'll simply treat one set square of mine as a T square. So I'll just extend this line faint. This one. So this direction, this side, I want to get my what? My my development. My development. So now I will take point zero as well. So you have to be accurate. I know it's this taking time. This is point zero. Take it faint as well. Point one, take it faint. Point two, point three, three, I'll take it as a center. Three, it's a center. Then four. Then five, five, then six. There you go. Mm -hmm. Right. Then after I've 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 gotten these ones. Uh, is, is the bottom part of my pipe zero one two let me see are they are they specifying that where is the joint are they specifying where is the joint so they are not specifying so in most of the time the joint it should be right there in most of the time so even in the final examination assuming you are not uh, given the joint so which means if your development you consider your joint being a uh, position right there your development is going to look like what we are doing now so if your dev your development i mean your joint is on the, on the other side your development it will be different you understand so but for fandah i said let's consider our xx being positioned right here, there which is the joint. So from there, still out of the special angle. This is it. So the space from the, from my friend view. So I, on that one, we are not recited how 
uh, long away from your friend you're supposed to be. As long as it's far away enough, you understand. So from this point going in this direction, I want to put my what my development on that one now. You understand? So <coughs> so to get the development, you can simply use the formula L is equals to pi diameter over 12. So L stands for your length, and then you substitute your your pi, you know the value of pi. Even if you don't know it, you just simply uh, press the second function there by your scientific calculator then you press the 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 symbol for pi so the d is going to be diameter you substitute d with what with with the 30 is it so you put your 30 there all over 12 so you get your l l is equals to what you understand so so if so in a uh, hey, doctor boy is saying my guy you are good at this pick up thank you very much thank you very much for 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 that my brother so i'm sorry guys some of your comment i cannot be able to to read them because i'm concentrating on the paper understand don't be like a uh, uh, i am neglecting so mr m is saying how about the shape of the hole yes the shape of the hole we are still going to show it so the shape of the hole i will show it this side the shape of the hole in the main pipe you understand you remember i can show it this side or on the other side wherever here space so after the development i can be able to see so it's up to you you can even start with the shape of the hole you understand it's just that you cannot get the shape of the hole before the line of penetration. You cannot uh, uh, do your development before the line of penetration. You understand? So, they've decided that let us what let us just simply get the what the 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 the, the, the development first. After the development, then we we'll show the shape of the hole in the main pipe. So. So that was it. So you get your what your 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 value of L. So your if you get your answer, that answer of yours is the one that you're going to open the drawing compass to it and get the what the line of penetration. I mean the the length of your development. Or graphically, you can simply remember you divided your your your, your auxiliary into twelve. So you can simply put it at graphically at zero to one which is this one isn't it you said you are dividing into you are dividing uh, 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 this into 12 equal space you understand so of which is what we are going to do now so i come and say zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven back to zero you understand so there must be 12 so after i've gotten that so you can simply come back now and have this faint ne? there you go there you go. So here you go. There you go. So there you go. So don't mind about these holes of mine. Don't mind them. I'm actually running short of throwing shit. There you go. There you go. There you go. And the last one. There you go. Then from there, so I I'll. I have this point from zero to zero. 
so this is going to be my zero here right zero one two mm -hmm. three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven back to zero mm -hmm. so now look if uh, the 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 bottom part of my what or oh, oh, let me not say the bottom because it's now upside down this from six to zero is a straight line you understand because you must have some strong points to to rely on so if from here till here it's a it's look like a straight line which means this part of my development without fear or favor i am going to have it a a as a straight line from here right there supposed to be a horizontal a uh, or let me not use the word horizontal it should be a straight line like that you understand so from here till there so which means again from there till there it should be the straight line so assuming this pipe of mine it was maybe a some a, something like this here gets like this so which means even there by my development i was going to have some zigzags that are going coming like this you understand so you must have some strong point to rely on so come back and be like okay they said please not xx is the joint that's where they are cutting it isn't it so again from here till there at zero from here till here at zero so which means again at zero i will have a solid line from here till here as such that i can even put that x x like this and again at the last zero you so saw that's what i'm saying you must have some strong point to rely on so then you can then uh, fumble but you know what the marks of this site they are already in your pocket that you had an idea with it dark or blue this development of mind it must begin like this and close like this you understand so i don't know what's going to happen here but 100 percent sure this part of it i i i have already have it so now we are going to use the our numbers again to get the what the the development because what we are drawing we don't know we just rely on the protocol. If I have a zero here, what I know would the zero must intersect with the zero and the one must intersect with the one and the two must intersect with the two. So this is the line of zero eh? and trace it again right from the auxiliary of your art of your of your of your front view. Since it's this a uh, pipe that we are developing. There it is, there it is, there it is from there must intersect with what with is which means i have what a point right there hey, well. so a two i mean zero this is one this is the line of one goes up isn't it go back and trace point one there it is there it is there it is once it touch here there it goes there it goes which means i have what a point right there hey, well. so which means i have a point there i can say this is zero this is one even if i don't number isn't it i've already numbered down, uh, 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 down there isn't it so this is two eh? this is the line of two so the two must intersect with the two so trace it right from your heart, from your uh, line of penetration there it is there it is this is two eh? there it is there you go from there there you go there you go there you go must what Give me a point right there. That's how we get them. So three, three, which is what, which is the center. There it goes. Once it touch here, three, which is the center, isn't it? There it goes. There it go. Must intersect with what? With the line of three. With the line of three. This is three. There you go. So I have it right there. Everyone. then four above the center which is 
three which is the center and the four isn't it so trace it there it is four trace it there you go there you go which is the last one there you go now go to your development intersecting with what with the point four I want then five five again trace it this is five isn't it there you go there you go there you go once it touch there which is the line below the the center uh, below the center is the line which is below the center very close to the center so i have what a five right there hey one then a six there it is trace it right from the line of penetration six there you go there you go once it gets there trace it trace it trace it trace it must intersect with what with six there you go anyway. then seven seven in line with five seven in line with five there you go there you go and we set five is the line that is below your what of yours your you what to call your center line seven which means I have a what? A point right there. So you have to plot these points. They must be plotted. They must be seen that they were plotted. You understand? So eight in line with what? With four. So there is eight. There, there you go. There you go. Is the last one on top. There you go. There you go. There you go. Must intersect with what? With the eight. So there it is. Anyone. then nine nine is, is 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 in the same line with what with point three three which is the center isn't it they go they go they go they go must intersect with what with nine i have what point right there that's how we get to them that's how we get to them you understand so simple so a uh, 10 in line with two there you go there you go trace two ten in line with two there you go this is the line of two once it touch the open threshold line comes to your development there you go there you go there you go which means i have point right there hey, one. so point uh, 11 in line with one is the one that we started with this is one once it touch there, there you go, there you go, there you go. 11 back to zero, which is zero, started with the zero. So that's how we get this uh, uh, upper part line of our development. So now you can take your flex curve. If you don't have your flex curve, you can use your free hand like me. There you go, you join your point now. There you go, there you go. So this point, they must be seen. I want, they must be seen, they must be seen. So there you go. Once you touch here, it's gonna go. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Go, hey, this hole. So I said to you, don't mind these holes. Ne? I normally draw and file. If you see these holes like this, which means at the back of the drawing sheet, there are drawings as well. You understand? So that's you have to get something of this nature. You understand? Something of this nature, the development of this uh, uh, pipe, this one. So the cylindrical pipe uh, that is being joined with what you a, a diagonal square pipe. So after this one, then we can approach to draw the what now to draw the shape of the hole the shape of the hole this camera is running short a bit I'm so sorry tiktok guys let me simply change the battery for this one because i've got three cameras here so that you don't see them This one is run. This one is battery. Keep this one to charge it. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Then again. Then I can tie it now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was it. So thank you very much for waiting. So now let's show the shape of the hole. Let's show the shape of the hole. So to get the shape of the hole, we are going to use our top view. We are going to use the what you call the the auxiliary top view points. This one. So I can just erase this one just a little bit. Even my small onion mates actually was supposed to be up there. Let me erase it. Mm -hmm. Because I want to have a, a, this space for the shape of the hole. So now we are. I'll simply put my T square against my drawing board and put this in there angle okay angle 45 degrees right from the bottom right hand corner of my front view and have this line mm -hmm. after this one i am going to project all the points once they touch this line of uh, of mine that is at an angle of 45 i go they will be projected upwards so that is why i'm erasing this one so now i will consider only the points now that they are touching the main pipe you understand oh didn't press that yet. okay okay uh, youtube guys like as i've said we threw this one at an angle of 45 degrees once they touch now we are going to project like points that they are touching the main pipe which is at a which is a, a diagonal square once they touch this line they will go vertically up so all the points right from the, your your uh, fr from my my line of penetration once a uh, all the points of these points there by my line of penetration there by my friend view they will be just constructed horizontal now this is zero horizontal must intersect with what with the zero of the auxiliary a uh, top view you understand so this is it which is the center isn't it once it touch there I can project it upwards. This is it. You understand? So I can say where they are bisecting each other or they are perpendicular to each other. That's give me a point zero. You understand? So point one, you I will project it horizontally. There you go. Faint. Eh? So the point one of my auxiliary. A top view there you go now I'll just extend it once it touch here it's gonna go vertically up vertically up so where they are uh, perpendicular to, to each other that's going to be my point one anyone then point a uh, uh, two there you go from the my line of penetration isn't it so the two of the auxiliary top view there it is which is this one so in the same line with four there you go once it touch here at an angle of 45 this line of mine is gonna go vertically up my brother there you go faint so it's give me a point right there which is point two simple eh? so point three which is the last one there you go 
There you go. That's a touch there. I'm gonna go up. And the three which is in the same line with what? I mean, uh, the three which is the center line. Remember, is the center line. So I will draw it as a center. Long shot, long shot, long shot, long shot, long shot. Short. You understand? So the three is it that one. You, 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 you understand? Then from there, four in the same line with what? With two. Sorry about that. So there is four eh? in the same line with two. But when you go up there, your front view say four has to be constructed. There you go. In the same line with two. This is two, eh? This is four. There you go. So I have what? A point right there. Which is point four. Point five in the same line with what with one. There you go from there. This is one, isn't it? But then on your line of your penetration, construct it. There you go. This is what this is point five. Where they are bisecting each other, that's give you a point five. You understand? Then point six in the same line with what with zero. This one, there you go. So, but in the, in your, what, in your top view, in your front view, there you go, there you go, there you go. This is six, isn't it? So, in the same line, so there it is. There you are. Then, after six, this is point six, eh? Six, there is seven. Six, seven. Check the seven that I'm talking about. I'm actually talking about the the, the one auxiliary top. There you go. There you go. This is it. We even uh, name it. There you go. And the touch here. Gonna go up. So point seven in the same line with what? Point seven in the same line with five. In the same line with five as much as you can see it there it is in the same line with what with five so this is five this is the line of five so uh, i am going to have a point seven there <sighs> i'm tired now so now let me just finish up first and then point eight trace it right from the auxiliary front i mean auxiliary top there you go extend this one there you go, once you touch the line of 45 degrees, it's going to go up. So there you go. So point 8 in the same line with what? With point 4. There you go, there you go. 8 in the same line with point 4. This is 4. This is point 4, which means I have what? A point right there. Which is point 8. Then point nine, which is the last one. There you go. Once it touches the 45 degree line, gonna go up. Gonna go up, my brother. So point nine in the same line with point three, which is the center, isn't it? Three. So I have what? A point nine right there. Then point uh, ten. In the same line with what with point eight this is eight ne? so i must get point eight uh, ten then point ten in the same line with what with point two there you go there you go which means this is the line of two eh? so intersecting with what with the line of eight there you go so this is ten so point uh, 11 in the same line with what with point one so 11 there you go there you go from there this is la one isn't it so which means i have a point right there which is point 11 are we together so point 12 in the same line with what with point zero so now we are done with the shape of the hole so then you can simply take your your your, your what to you call your <laughs> 
your your flex curve and join your points now if you don't have you can use your free hand like me there you go 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 so that's how you get the shape of the hole so the shape of the hole is always something different so you cannot be like no i know it's, it's going to be something of this nature it's always something different so we started like this so this uh this uh, drawing is actually it was sent by his, her name is palisa if i'm not mistaken so thank you very much thanks for watching palisa i think i think you are supposed to get something of this nature so we started here we come there the line of penetration i mean it's the line of penetration after the line of penetration into the development after the development the shape of the hole so i think i've answered your question so i think tomorrow we'll be looking at this one i've exhausted already i've exhausted already so thank you very much guys for watching don't forget to subscribe like the channel subscribe for more videos to be uploaded on our youtube channel those whom they are not yet aware about the youtube channel simply search it to test digital school you are going to find us there so uh palisa i this one i think is actually a, a we've done it we've done it this is this is a assembled drone we've done it just scroll down here there by our youtube channel enter and then scroll down enter and subscribe and uh, scroll down it's actually there if you don't find it go to where they are saying live because we we have some other videos there Ooh, that, the one that we're shooting them live so for tiptoe guys i think we'll also consider this one on the live so thank you very much guys for watching that was Mr. Nkosi. See you on the next video. Okay. Yes. Yes.